India is now known as the diabetic capital of the world. In this video, I'll tell you some startling facts about diabetic foot problems. Every 20 seconds in the world, one foot is amputated because of diabetic gangrene. Every 7 seconds, someone dies because of diabetes. By the end of this video, I'm sure you will find out how to avoid getting stuck like this unfortunate person. We will talk of 10 facts and figures about diabetic foot ulcers. First is how common are diabetic foot ulcers? According to International Journal of Endocrinology, diabetic foot ulcers can occur in 15 to 20 percent of people with diabetes. Second, what percentage of people with diabetic foot ulcer will need hospitalization? Many reports and studies have shown that 5 to 6 percent of people with diabetic foot ulcers need repeated hospitalizations. Third important fact is why do diabetic foot ulcers occur in the first place? Diabetic foot ulcers occur because of three main reasons, elevated or fluctuating blood sugar levels, nerve damage and low or lower blood supply. With nerve damage, there are chances of deformities in the feet and toes, which makes the skin more prone to developing pressure ulcers. With reduced sensation, even a small cut can result into a larger ulcer. And with reduced blood flow, the chances of healing are very slow and these ulcers will progress rapidly over time. Fourth fact, where do diabetic foot ulcers occur? Diabetic ulcers are more common on the pressure bearing areas of the feet, usually the soles and the base of all the toes. These are the commonest places where these ulcers can happen. But because of diabetic ischemia or reduced blood flow, the ulcers or gangrene usually starts from the toes. One common thing to notice is diabetic gangrene can start after even nails have been cut. Fifth, very crucial question is, can a small diabetic foot ulcer lead to amputation? Yes. According to a study in the Journal of Vascular Surgery, which is one of the most reputed journals for vascular surgeons, it has shown that 28% of people with diabetic foot ulcers can progress towards amputation if not treated in time. The amputation may be a part of the toe, a few toes or even part of the foot but 1% of these patients may end up with a major amputation which can be below or even above the knee. The sixth question is how long do diabetic foot ulcers take to heal? Diabetic foot ulcers usually take a long time to heal because of the multiple factors that I said. According to the New England Journal of Medicine, more than two-thirds of patients with diabetic foot ulcers can take up to one year for proper healing. Even if the ulcer has healed, the chances of recurrence is as high as 60 to 70 percent. Patients with ulcers due to less blood flow or ischemia will have a higher healing if proper revascularization or restoration of circulation is done, which can be by angioplasty or a bypass. Seventh question is, can a diabetic foot ulcer reach the bone? Yes, it can. The diabetic ulcers are deep and they reach till the bone with infection. It can cause something called as osteomyelitis, which is infection involving the bone. Patients with osteomyelitis have a very, very high chance of ending up with amputation. So preventing this is the best strategy to avoid aggravation of this condition. Eighth question is, is diabetic foot problem common in certain people or certain parts of the country or the world? Many studies worldwide have shown that 80% of diabetic foot problems occur in lower socio-economic group people. And the major reason is avoidance of wearing proper footwear and walking barefoot. So that is why they end up developing small cuts or small injuries which later leads to aggravation of infection and ends up with an amputation. The ninth and big question is, are diabetic foot ulcers preventable? Yes, they are. With proper attention to the do's and don'ts for diabetic foot care, 
more than 75% of foot ulcers can very well be prevented. The last alarming fact and question is how serious can diabetic foot ulcers be? Diabetic foot ulcers can be very serious especially if they are accompanied by reduced blood circulation. If the blood flow to the foot is very less then even small ulcers can convert into infection and this rapidly spreading infection is one of the major reasons why diabetic foot patients have to undergo amputation sometimes major amputations at the knee or even above the knee level. So if you have diabetes or you know someone with diabetes please share this video with them to make them understand that diabetes itself is a problem diabetic foot problem may take no time in becoming serious or lead to complications stay safe stay healthy